I'm going to use this glass and some juice to illustrate the linear diagram for addition. I'm going to start by adding 7 ounces of juice to this glass. Now I'm going to add 5 more. How much juice is in the glass? Here's how that same problem looks on paper. I have this part of 7 ounces and then I have 5 more ounces. I can set that up like this. I'm putting those two parts, part, part, putting them together, part, part, adding. So 7 plus 5, I'm thinking here's 7 and 5, that makes 110, two ones, 12 ounces, that must be what's in the glass. 12 ounces. Let's do a subtraction problem. I have this 12 ounce glass of juice. I'm going to pour out 5 ounces. That's what happened. 5 ounces got poured out. What is left? Here's how that problem looks in the linear diagram. This represents that full glass of 12 ounces, and we took away 5, and we're going to have less than 12. So here's 12, and I'm going to write the number 12. And we took away 5. So again, we took away one of these lines, one of these lines. 12 minus 5, here's 12. If I take this 5 away <clears throat> from the 10, I'll have 5 green and 2 more. 5 and 2, 7. That's what's left. Here's how an addition problem looks on paper. Sam has 7 ounces of red juice and 5 more ounces of yellow juice. How much juice does Sam have? We're going to use the diagram to extract that information and put it in a meaningful context. First thing I'm going to do is look at this information. <clears throat> I am identifying this as a part, 7 ounces. 7 ounces. This is a part over here. So in the diagram, this underlined text, seven ounces. And five more ounces, that's another part. Underline that, and underline it. Find that same line here. What is it that we need to know? We need to know all the stuff. I'm gonna box that. That corresponds to this big green area. So we need to set this problem up. 5 plus 7. If I wanted to diagram that solution, I would do the first, first number as the larger. There's 7. I'm adding 5. That makes 110 and 2 ones. There must be 12 ounces in this glass. That was, again, a part and another part. Two parts make that plus sign. Here's a corresponding subtraction problem as in the diagram. So Sam had 12 ounces of juice. He drank 5 ounces. How many ounces are left? Typically read this entire problem first. Then you start marking it up. If you were to use a highlighter and highlight the important information, you would just have basically a yellow problem. All this information is important. We want to do something with the information once we identify what it is. Sam had 12 ounces of juice. That's all the stuff. I'm going to put a box around that. That goes in this box. 12. And he drank 
That's what got taken away. Notice that one line is similar to that subtraction problem. So we're going to take away the 5. Again, one line, one line. Subtraction problem. Started with 12, took away 5. And when I subtract, I'll take the 5 away from this 10, leaves me with 5 and two more, seven. That must be the other part. I can label this.